think I just peed a little. Who could ever deny that Poe was the world's most famous panda bear to date? I mean, he's got that sneezing baby panda beat by a mile. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda has brought joy to millions of fans across the globe. Having generated more than $518 million worldwide at the box office on a budget of $145 million. We here at Movie Mistakes can't get enough of what is sure to be a DreamWorks classic. Hi everyone, and welcome to Movie Mistakes, and today we are showing you the 10 goofs we found in Kung Fu Panda 3. And as always, we want to put out our usual spoiler alert. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, thanks for stopping by, you will see continuation errors, props that move, and things disappear and reappear. So without further ado, let's do this! Justice is about to be served. Took you long enough. <laughs> this episode starts off with Kai showing Ugwe the chi that he stole from other Kung Fu masters. Make a mental note that they are on a chain around his waist. Here. No. Yes. And soon I will. But as the camera switches back and forth, you'll notice that the stolen chi is now missing. We'll have your power too. When will you realize? It was never my destiny to stop you. I have set another on that path. For movie mistake number two, we get to look in on Poe taking a bath. And uh, <laughs> I personally enjoy a good bath. But that's beside the point. Keep an eye on Monkey's action figure. What the? Oh, no, please don't teach me to death. Just after Poe says, please don't teach me to death, we cut to a wide shot of him in the tub. Monkey is now missing. Paul? Oh, hey, Dad, what's up? For mistake number three, we're staying with Poe in the tub, and not the way you think. But keep a close eye on the ladle in the bucket. Contest. Oh, Mrs. Chow always wins that. Skadoosh. And the Dragon Warrior. So as the camera bounces back and forth, you'll notice that the label is now switched to the other side of the bucket. Weird? Yeah, I think so. Dumpling eating contest? I have to defend my title. When Poe is being attacked by one of the Jade characters, flips over the table and knocks up the dumplings, I thought to myself, what a waste. I mean, the dumplings are gonna fall to the floor, all those bowls are gonna break, wow. But as we get a wide shot of Poe and those dumplings, you'll notice that none of the dumplings really hit the floor, but the bowls don't either. Where did the other ones go? Again, we get a good shot of Poe catching the dumplings, put them in his mouth, and look, he even neatly puts the bowls down. That's pretty nice, right? Didn't drop them, they wouldn't break, nice. But as we get a shot from behind the green guy, you'll notice that right in front of Poe, that bowl is now missing. Coincidence? I think not! In the scene with the green glow, we get a really good shot of Shifu, Poe, and the Furious Five. But focus your attention on Snake. Watch her closely. <laughs> Well, if you were paying attention, you'll notice that she was between Tigress and Poe, but now she has switched positions and now she's over next to Crane. I know she's fast, but I'm sure she's not that fast. So in the scene where Poe's feathered dad is trying to talk him out of leaving, he tries to hand Shifu a scroll or something. But check out Crane. It almost looks like he's standing on Monkey's back. I think he should go. But as the camera zooms in on Shifu, you'll notice that Crane is no longer behind Monkey. Probably one of those martial arts techniques that he's been working on, the vanishing Crane. Fine, a third opinion. Monkey, Viper, Tigress. So in this scene, when Poe first gets to the Panda Village, he's in awe. But check out these two guys here. I think the scene will be a little more authentic if they had hats. What do you think? Yeah, I know, I know. That was kind of a corny setup. Just to point out the fact that these guys now have hats. So 
So in the scene where the whole panda village rushes over to say hi to Poe, notice how tired they are. But even more so, notice the number of children there are in this scene. So when the camera switches over to Poe and then back over to the villagers, notice that there are three extra children now in the scene. Everyone! And for our last and final mistake, we get a good shot of Poe rolling down the hill and slamming into the table. Notice in the background the hill is still there, right? Ow! Ah, you're right, that is better than walking. <laughs> But again, as consistent with movie magic, you'll notice that the hill was now missing and replaced with some amazing landscape. Love it. What kind of panda doesn't know how to roll? Wow. So, when you watched Kung Fu Panda 3, whether it was in the movie theaters or at home, was there any mistakes that you've seen? If so, let us know in the comment section below. If we give it enough mistakes, we'll do a second video of Kung Fu Panda 3 and give credit to the people who pointed them out. Also, let us know what you'd like to see us do next. We do take suggestions, and that's how we came up with this one. Oh, and if you haven't joined the Movie Mistakes family, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. We'll give you some time. I mean, hey, we're not going anywhere, right? And as usual, thanks for hanging out with us. And we'll see you in the next one. Coincidence? I think not!